Welcome everyone. I'm joined today by Martin Simon, CEO of Falconers, an Estonia-based space and earth observation company. Martin, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure, thank you. So what brought you to Armenia? Who did you come with? Who are you meeting here? How has your trip been? What brought you here? Uh, so uh, um, we came to uh, organize an event, co-organize event, uh, a seminar called uh, Space and uh, Homeland Security uh, in order to figure out uh, ways to utilize the data that we can from space uh, for the good of people on the ground. Uh, Estonia is a young nation uh, with a, being uh, uh, just recently becoming a, a space country. So we ha have had three uh, satellites uh, already and we know that Armenia had its first just uh, a few months ago. So we're uh, trying to figure out ways how the two countries can, and their academia and uh, companies can collaborate in, in further, further, furthering these, these projects. That's great. And so who exactly uh, have you been meeting with while you're here? How have those meetings gone? So um, uh, we had uh, uh, the seminar together with the diaspora, some companies from the United States, many are, uh, local Armenian companies as well, some uh, startups, uh, and uh, also uh, the, uh, I think it's uh, the Robotics Institute that is uh, led by Naira, a uh, uh, famous uh, aerodynamics uh, engineer from, uh, from the States. Uh, and from Estonian side, uh, we have with us uh, a representative from the Estonian Security Sciences Academy, uh, Marduk Technologies from the industry side, also Tallinn University of Technology and my company Falconers, which uh, specializes in earth observation and, and space technology. That's wonderful. And so, uh, as you mentioned, Armenia launched its first satellite in May. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that the government is working to launch more satellites in the future. So. What is your reaction to this? What advice would you give to, uh, you know, to future launches, given your expertise? Yeah, we, we are very happy to hear this. Uh, so Estonia uh, launched it, uh, a satellite uh, that was built entirely by students. So everything was developed in-house. So we have this knowledge. So I understand the next satellite Armenia is planning to build will be also developed in-house. And uh, the two countries having uh, uh, interest in synth synthetic aperture radar technologies for the satellites. I think there is a lot of uh, uh, knowledge transfer and collaboration opportunities uh, in Armenia to Estonia, as well as from Estonia to Armenia to launch uh, future satellites for Earth observation. Could you give us an example of something that you think would be, uh, you know, helpful to exchange between the two countries, where exactly they can, you know, fit each other's needs? Yes, of course, Estonia has uh, a lot of history of doing uh, AI development, digital, uh, digital technologies. Uh, for example, we have proposed that uh, Estonian cities and Armenian cities could perhaps uh, both leverage uh, from digital twinning. So this is utilizing uh, the data we get from space in order to determine information about uh, the types of landmass, uh, as well as city planning, urban planning, preventing forest fires, um, flooding and uh, as such. Hmm. And uh, coming from Estonia, in your view, what is the importance of a, a small country having satellites and being uh, a leader in, in this kind of technology? It is challenging, I must admit. So the, the area is very complex. There are so many interdisciplinary uh, systems that are co uh, connected to this. So you have, you know, this uh, embedded processing, electronics, mechanics, the launch itself to space, as well as uh, once you have the satellite on orbit, you need to be able to uh, have a mission control, uh, ground stations, and at the end of the day, when you get the data from the satellite, I know that the Armenian satellite is also an Earth observation satellite, you need to have a clear understanding what you will do with this data, how it will benefit your country. So these are all the areas that Estonia is uh, working with, uh, we understand that we cannot be excellent in all of these areas. So we try to figure out the ones that we can be uh, very good at. Uh, and uh, I see that Armenia is also trying to figure out or focus uh, the areas where they have a specialization in. And then we can collaborate and uh, both can be a small, small piece of uh, the puzzle to the other one's uh, complete system. That's great to hear. Could you give us some examples of what the Estonian satellites are doing? So it seems that mm -hmm. Estonia is maybe a few years ahead of, of Armenia in this regard. What can Armenia look forward to with its satellites? So 
Um, I would recommend uh, for Armenia to, uh, to explore possibilities uh, to collaborate with European countries on this. Uh, the, the collaboration with the European Space Agency has been very beneficial for Estonia, both in terms of uh, the framework, the connections, uh, launch providers uh, and also technologies and, uh, and the, the general planning to conduct these kind of very scientific and uh, instrumental missions. Uh, on, the, on the other side, there needs to be a very strong executive team. There needs to be an agency, or in our case, it was uh, in the university, there was a space center that focused on uh, uh, doing this. And once you have created these first satellites, you need to document everything. You need to make sure that uh, all of the experiences you have and all of the mistakes you have made, uh, they, they are documented so that future generations can utilize them. Space program is not uh, six months, it's not two and a half years, it's a decades long process until you have this perfection that it is, uh, it is uh, both beneficial for the end user, for the governments, but also for the, uh, the, the, the civil partner. And so uh, taking a, a little bit of a step back here, mm -hmm. uh, another kind of similarity between Estonia and Armenia is that they're both small countries with a yeah. really booming IT sector. What have your impressions of the IT sector in Armenia been? Does it remind you of back home? Yeah, so I would say that Armenia and Estonia have uh, much similarities in this. Uh, so when Estonia uh, regained or restored its independence uh, from the Soviet Union, uh, then we were very poor. We were in fact so poor that we didn't have papers, we had to digitalize everything. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and this led to innovation. This created the opportunity that we can uh, leverage today. Uh, these digital products we can sell to other countries today, we export them. Um, one of our previous uh, residents, Thomas Hendrik Gilves, uh, has been instrumental in getting this word out about Estonian digital products. Um, and uh, I think Armenia is trying to do something very similar. Uh, we uh, paid a visit to the university uh, here in Yerevan, uh, where uh, the, the laboratory for robotics and control systems, they demonstrated that only in, I think, six months or one year, they have created uh, a drone, uh, drone lab that is far superior to anything that we have in Estonia. And we already realized that much of the stabilization technologies that were in these specific topics or, or these projects, they can be utilized both in our defense industry and also in our satellite technologies. So we hope we can get this knowledge transfer from this side to Estonia as well. That would be great. Well, Martin, thank you again very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And thank you for joining us on CivilNet.